Decentralized application development is harder than it should be. That's the guiding framework behind Clovier, a new startup launched by two former JP Morgan blockchain employees that seeks to provide a new layer of enterprise-driven services between blockchains and user-facing applications. Founded by Coindesk's most influential finalist Amber Balde and cryptographer Patrick Mylan Nielsen, the mystery startup has been a topic of speculation since Balde announced her departure from the investment bank last month. Finally revealed at Consensus 2018 in New York today, Clovier is a decentralized application store that will host a selection of well-vetted applications alongside some in-house developer tooling designed to simplify application development for enterprises. Maintaining a blockchain-agnostic approach to application design, Clovier will initially provide tooling to build on both public and enterprise versions of Ethereum, specifically the Quorum, Geth and Parity clients. Speaking to Coindesk, Balde hinted that Bitcoin-facing applications will also be possible, and further blockchain integrations may be added to the decentralized collection in future. In a public beta plan to launch later this year, the team intend to provide an initial development framework for enterprises looking to build on the tech, as well as other potential novelties such as tooling for data analysis on private data sets, something that Balde anticipates will be a popular product. Right now there's no way to keep data private at its point of origin and also enable big data analytics, but there could be, Nielsen said in a press release. Going forward, the team plans to launch a full tech stack for privacy protecting decentralized application design that would achieve compliance with upcoming data protection law, the GDPR. While they told Coindesk, we're trying to empower people to build things themselves, connecting the dots according to the team. While the technology is there, there is a gap in application design that has been stifling innovation across the board. Companies looking to integrate decentralized tooling are faced with the confusion of digging through open source development platforms. It's so easy to miss useful new tools, Balde said. On Clovier, developers and enterprises won't need to go through the process of building the tooling from scratch that may have already been executed. We're doing all that heavy lifting so they can accelerate and iterate faster, Balde told Coindesk. The application store will also enable the development of hybrid blockchain formats, such as enterprise chains that can link up to public networks to publish attestations or transactions. According to Balde, the latter will beneficial to enterprise looking for the scalability and control of a permissioned system combined with the security parameters of a public blockchain. But it will feed back into the public ecosystem as well, Balde said. We're bringing modern software development lifecycle practices to decentralized applications so people can save their time and resources, and find a broader audience for their big idea, she told Coindesk. In the future, Balde expects that the public and enterprise-focused applications will blur into a much more user-oriented experience. Rather than evaluating tools based on their creators, Balde said, the users will start asking, does it do what I need it to do and does it meet my personal requirement? At the same time, businesses have a much clearer resource to work from in order to enter the industry. Balde explained, and those corporates, all they need to do is onboard Clovier then they can experiment across the entire field of apps and mash stuff up. So that's what it will do, it's good for everyone, data-driven privacy The beta version of Clovier will be a collection of developer tooling. First thing we need to do is get the nuts and bolts of a workable developer framework out there, Balde said. Going forward, Balde and Nielsen's experience in building JP. Morgan's Quorum, which contains multiple privacy-enforcing layers, will result in tools that can help people build in a way that protects user data. We want to provide very clear privacy-preserving stacks that we recommend you go with if you don't know where to start, Balde said. While the team has yet to fully expand on what such a privacy-preserving system would look like, Balde hinted that such applications should be more conservative about what information is shared on-chain, and suggested using the shared ledger merely as a coordination device. Plus, Balde and Nielsen both hinted that such privacy-preserving features could come with data analysis capabilities as well. Nielsen told Coindesk, currently privacy is seen as incompatible with data-driven insight, but that doesn't have to be the case. Notably, the startup's applications intend to provide compliancy for the GDPR, a strict data protection law that comes into force in Europe this month that some have worried may cause problems for public blockchain data. It's certainly a challenge, but we just need to be smart about designing around the constraints, Balde told Coindesk. But Baldet's concern for data privacy runs deeper than the GDPR legislation as well. 
She told Coindesk, privacy isn't just a law, it's also just a human rights issue for users of the system, image credit, photo critical, Shuttershock.com The leader in blockchain news, Coindesk is a media outlet that strives for the highest journalistic standards and abides by a strict set of editorial policies. Coindesk is an independent operating subsidiary of Digital Currency Group, which invests in cryptocurrencies and blockchain startups.